What's up, everybody? Happy Thursday. Hope all you're having a great day so far. Um, getting into this episode. <laughs> so the whole, you know, thing with Ava doing the whole TV, you know, her and Sonny were doing, um, you know how parents do. People do when somebody go missing and stuff, you know, you got to get on the camera and make a plea for their return and stuff like that. Um, Ava was laying it on thick, too. But um, I enjoyed that scene. I really did. It felt authentic. Um, at least Sonny and Ava could be a cohesive unit for the time being. And and I agree, you know, they, they definitely should put their differences aside for this for this moment, you know what I'm saying? Because this is not about their feud, their grudge. It's about getting their daughter back. You know what I'm saying? So that's the most important thing. So I'm glad that there wasn't no real pettiness between them today where they were arguing or nothing. I'm, I'm just glad that they were able to, you know, be polite to each other for the most part, you know, be hospitable to each other. Because I feel like that's what they should be doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't got to be doing all this arguing and being petty and spiteful and, you know, just focus on getting your daughter back. Um, so the FBI pretty much ruled out that it was mob related. Sonny, I don't blame Sonny for being pissed because Sonny already told them it had nothing to do with his enemies. You know what I'm saying? It had nothing to do with that. And I, we all know it had nothing to do with no mob. You know what I'm saying? But Julian brought up a good point to Ava today, though. I mean, what if the shoe was on the other foot? I mean, she blamed Sonny's business at first for being the reason that Avery was missing. But what if the shoe was on the other foot? Because you got to remember, just because Julian and Ava are out the business, that don't mean past enemies can't come after them or their loved ones, because they definitely can. You know what I'm saying? So I'm glad that, you know, Julian did shed some light on that. Um... And it was good, you know, even Griffin and Julian, you know, put their differences aside because of this, you know what I'm saying? And it was so funny because when Julian was talking about going to pray and stuff like that for the return of Avery, <laughs> Ava was like, um, I think it would be more effective if Griffin actually went and prayed. <laughs> I had to bust out laughing because I agreed. I was like, no, no shade, no offense. But, you know, anybody, I agree with Griffin, though. Anybody can pray. That is true. Anybody can pray. But I had to agree with Ava. I mean, you know. Griffin is a lot more closer to God than Julian, I'm just saying. So it would have been better if, if Griffin went and prayed instead of Julian, I'm just saying. It would have been more effective. Not to say that Julian can't pray, because he can, but I think, you know, the Lord would have been more receptive if it was coming from Griffin. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> He's the one with the, the bigger relationship with the Lord. I'm just saying. Hallelujah. Um... But, you know, I'm glad Julian was there for Ava, you know what I'm saying? Because Kiki couldn't be there because Dr. Asshole. So, you know, at least she had some relative there with her, you know what I'm saying? Where is her mom at? You know her mother. Duh. What's her name? Delilah, D Dina, Del whatever her name is. Um, You know Eileen Kristen from One Life to Live. She played um, Roxanne Balsam. That was her, you know, she also played Ava's mother. Um... I haven't seen Ava's mother in a minute. Like, it's been, what, a couple of years since we seen Ava's mother? Um, so I was like, damn, you know, at least Julian was there at least. You know what I'm saying? Because Ava did need a support system. Shit, Sonny had Dante there. He had Carly there. You know what I'm saying? He got a whole damn support system. Ava ain't had nobody. I was like, shit, thank God somebody came through. You know, Griffin, he juggled some of his, you know, he got his doctor to take over some of his patient cases so he could be there. I said, that was cool. Um... I, you know, thinking about it, putting myself in Sonny's shoes, I can't say that I blame him for thinking that Carly's going a little nuts. I can't say that I blame him because think about it. If we were all in Sonny's shoes, think about it. One of you were Sonny and Carly comes up to you and you find out all this information about the cologne, her being at the cemetery and her smelling Morgan's cologne her apparently getting a note to go to the graveyard and then there was really no note. You don't see no writing on it. You know what I'm saying? Like you it, then she claimed somebody was in her house, but there was no break in, no forced entry. Wouldn't you think somebody was wouldn't you think she was crazy? I'm just saying, like, wouldn't you think so? Or she was chasing after a ghost or something. Wouldn't you think the same thing? So I can't really fault Sonny for thinking that. I I can't really fault him for it. Because it all sounds crazy. Like, you know, you're hearing noises, you're, you know, 
I remember one time, right? This was a few years ago. I remember I was in the kitchen and then I had went the living room and the kitchen are like literally seconds away from each other. Mind you, the light in the living room was off. It was turned off. It was off. And all of a sudden, as I was about to go upstairs, I looked to my left to where the living room is. The light was on. It turned on. There was nobody else in the fucking house. I was the only one in the house. And I'm like, what the fuck? So I go in the living room. The light switch was fucking off. So I flick it up, flick it back off. The light turned off. I came back downstairs. That fucking light was back on again. I said, okay, hold up. <laughs> so I got on my phone. I text my mother. I'm like, you know there's a goddamn ghost in this house, right? I said, the lights literally came on by themselves. But, and she was like, you know you're bugged out, right? That's what she texted me back. She said, you're crazy because we have a dimmer switch. And what happened was, yeah, the thing was down, but the dimmer switch was up. So, and it has like a malfunction in the wiring. There was a malfunction. So that's what was making it do that. <laughs> and I didn't know it, but that's what was making it do it. I was like, I'm just thinking I'm losing my mind. I'm like, I know for a fact this goddamn light was off. I'm just saying. So I was, so, you know, shit happens. I mean, we tell, you know, shit happens to us that sound crazy to other people when we tell the story because my mother thought I was crazy. She was like, ain't nothing wrong with the house. I was like, well, shit, maybe I am losing it. <laughs> I don't know, but, you know, if I heard, if Carly came up to me and told me that story, if anybody came up to me and told me that story, I would think you're bugged out, especially when there's no, no evidence to back it up. I'm like, I would kind of think you're crazy, too. I'm just saying, because that story is far-fetched as hell. Like, you heard noises, you heard this, you heard, I'm like, okay, but there's nobody here. You know what I'm saying? Like, the cop did a thorough search of the house, even though we all know Nell got her skinny ass out of there, but, um... I, I can't, I mean, you know, put myself in Sonny's shoes, I can't say that I blame him. And Sonny genuinely wants to believe Carly. Like, of course he wants to believe her, but there's no evidence to believe her. And now Griffin, you know, he told her that there's nothing physically wrong with her, which we already knew. But he suggested something that I've actually been suggesting for Carly for years. She need to go to a therapist. And I'm not saying she need to go see a shrink because she's crazy. She's crazy, but she's not crazy crazy. But... I do think she needs to go see a therapist about her little compulsive problems because she is compulsive. Like she has OCD. And what I mean by OCD is that she has a tendency to be in everybody's business. And I think she needs to go see a shrink about it. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, come on, like what grown person be at other grown people business like that 24 seven? Like it's a job like that you do not get paid for. I'm just saying, like, I'm not about to be in nobody's business 24 seven. If I ain't getting no check for it, now, if I'm getting a check for being in your business, I'll be all up and through. But if I ain't getting no money for it, I don't give a fuck what you do. I'm just saying. So I don't know how she could be up in people's business like that. But I thought it was nice of Drew to, under the circumstances, take Carly to the hospital and stuff like that. I thought it was nice. You know, even though he don't fuck with her and Sonny like that no more. But under the circumstances, you know, he was willing to put whatever differences he had it with them to the side. And I, I respect that. You know, he's a stand-up guy for that. Because if it was me, I would have been petty. But <laughs> I'm just saying. After all the hell Carly done put him through, sitting there telling him to his face that Sam going back to Jason and manipulating the situation so Sam and Jason could be around each other. I, I'm i surprised he put that shit to the side. But like I said, under the circumstances, you know, he's a bigger person. And he was like, you know, y'all going through a lot right now. So it ain't no need for me to be petty. I respect it. Totally respect it. Um... Jocelyn and Oscar, I didn't really give a flying shit about them today. I really, I just felt like they were not needed for this episode. That's how I felt. Because they weren't really talking about nothing. They were just talking about, the, the you know, Avery and their families and the connections that they got. I could do without that, but whatever. I guess they were just there for filler, I suppose. Okay. But um, anyway, Elizabeth. First of all, I was agreeing with some of what Elizabeth was saying to Drew today about, you know, Betsy and stuff like that, because I did agree with Elizabeth. Betsy should have protected Drew and Franco because your kids do come first. What I was what I had an issue with Elizabeth about today was the fact that when she first saw Drew at the hospital and he told her he was dropping off an old friend, 
This is what I had a problem with. She was being nosy. Sitting there talking about, is it anybody that I know? First of all, don't be asking those type of questions. I, I hate when people do that. Like, he all he told you was he was dropping off an old friend. That's the reason he was at the hospital. Why do you need details on who the friend was? Why does it matter to you? I'm just saying, like, what did that matter to her? It, it shouldn't matter. That's his business, not yours. That's not your man. Y'all don't have no kids together. Y'all don't. Why? Why are you so in people' business? I'm just saying. She does the same thing with Franco. Like when Franco was in Betsy's room and he told her he was going to the art studio, but she found him in Betsy's room. Oh, what are you doing in here? Why are you in here? Why are you asking so many questions like you 911 or the 411 lady or something? Like, why are you asking all these questions? Like, I'm just saying, like, I, 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 I hate when people do that. Like, don't, don't be asking me a billion questions. I'm just saying, like, this is not 21 questions. <laughs> I just, like, I don't know. I just took issue with it for some reason. It's such a small thing, but it's something I just noticed. And I'm like, okay, why is she asking everybody all these damn questions? Like, who the, like, you, you know that Mary J. Blige album, the first album, what's the 411? That's basically what she is, the 411 lady. Like, she just need to know all the information. It's like, mind your business. But I don't blame Franco for going there to confront his mother. I don't blame him because I would blame Betsy ass too because you can't tell me she didn't know what was going on in that house. And they and they came up with a whole bunch of excuses for her talking about, oh, Jim, Jim Harvey, he was, you know, manipulative. I don't give a fuck how manipulative he was. She knew he was on some fuck shit and she should have went to the cops and protected her kid. That's what she should have did. That's what any true mother would do. The only mothers that sit there and know that some shit going on and allow it is some fucked up parents. That's the only type of parents. Some shitty ass parents who don't deserve kids. I'm just saying. Like, come on, this man was molesting your fucking son and I'm pretty sure she knew she had an inkling about it and you did absolutely nothing. You did nothing. And then you wait, what, 30 years later? 25, 30 years later to open up your fucking mouth and tell Drew what really happened? Like, come on, you should have opened up your mouth to the cops 30 years ago. Dumbass. Now the statute of limitations done ran out, so he wasn't going to go to prison for it. So the only way out for him was death. Whichever come first, death or jail, and obviously death death won. Because he wasn't going to go to prison for it because her stupid self, she should have been open up her mouth. Dumbass. Um, so anyway, I wonder where they going next with Franco and Elizabeth. Like, are they going to continue with this wedding nonsense? And you know they just had sex yesterday, so I'm pretty sure that she probably gonna end up pregnant. <laughs> I'm just saying, because we all know Elizabeth is fertile myrtle. I'm just saying, that chick is fertile. Like, if you look up fertile in the dictionary, her picture is right there smiling with a baby in her hand. I'm telling you now, that bitch is fertile. Stay pregnant. Well, actually, not stay pregnant, but, you know, she did get pregnant quite a few times, even back in 2004. <laughs> Wasn't she, did she get pregnant by Rick? She had got pregnant by Rick, and then she, I think she was supposed to be a surrogate for Jax, and she lost both them babies. Woo. Fertile murder. I'm just saying, she could get pregnant at the drop of a dime. I'm just saying, like, you could sleep with her and only last two seconds, and she would come back five minutes later talking about she pregnant. I'm just saying. God knows we don't need no more Franco children. We don't need no Franco babies around here. Hell no. Nope. But I wonder where they're going with this storyline, though. I really do. But Kim, I feel like with Kim Nero, she need to go ahead and shoot her shot with Drew. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, her making all these googly eyes at him and stuff, she need to go ahead and just shoot her shot and see see what happens. I'm just, you might as well, because you're never going to know until you try. I'm just saying. Him and Sam are basically about to get a divorce, so you might as well shoot your shot. See what happens. I was kind of hoping... For me, I feel like she got more chemistry with Julian than she do with Drew. That's just how I feel. She got more chemistry with Julian. But if she were to end up with Drew, to me, it just it is what it is. But I feel like her best bet is Julian. Even though, because I kind of like their relationship because it's fun, it's different, and they're more upfront with each other about their feelings towards other people. Like, he made it very clear that he still got feelings for Alexis. She made it clear she got feelings for Drew. So, but they're still, you know, hitting sheets together and enjoying each other's company because they, they got their eyes wide open. So they know what time it is. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, they know what it is with each other. So, I respect that, and I like it. It's like a mature relationship. It's not that little kitty shit that you see on uh, other storylines and other shows where everybody just beating around the bush about shit not being honest. So, I do like that. Do I still think she hiding something? Yep. You can't tell me she not. Until I, until I get confirmation that she's squeaky clean, she hiding something. It's something about her I don't like. It's just, I, I like her, but it's something about her. She, I don't know. I can't really explain it, but I, it's something about her. I just feel like she got a secret that she ain't telling. Um, Because every new character that come on this show got some type of past. Shit, look at Chase. He came on this show all squeaky clean. Guess what? Finn is his brother. <laughs> everybody got something going on when they come on this show. Peter, everybody. They, something about all new people when they come on this show. They got some type of past. So we, we, we're going to find out at some point what her shadiness is. Cause I'm pretty sure she on some shady shit. You can't have a new character come on the show and they not be shady. You just can't. It's not plausible. I think we might have had maybe one or two characters that came on this show that was squeaky clean, maybe. But a majority of them, they come on this show, they got some dirt that they trying to cover. And then it takes months for us to find it out. But we gonna find out. I know we are. But anyway, this was a decent episode today. wasn't too bad. Um, I'm trying to remember if, I, if let me know if I'm forgetting something. Cause I feel like I'm forgetting somebody. Cause I know everybody was like, you know, you forgot Franco and Elizabeth. I ain't talk about Franco and Elizabeth yesterday. Cause honestly, I forgot. I forgot they were even on the episode yesterday. I literally forgot. Well, everything else that was going on yesterday, I totally forgot about them. Um, I remember it today though. But I forgot yesterday. I genuinely forgot. It's not. Some people may have thought that I didn't talk about them on purpose. I swear it was not on purpose. I just forgot because it was other people on the show so I, I literally forgot like they were just in the back of my mind um so yeah i think that's everybody but anyway hit the comment section let me know what y'all thought and i'll see y'all later peace